What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and today we're gonna to be looking at the wireless charger that comes in the Model Y. Do I like it? What's the power output? And maybe what's inside of it? We're gonna take it apart. Stay tuned. Yes, we will be taking it apart, but first I want to test what the power output is on it. I bought this little USB-C device and I do have a USB-A adapter to, so we can check out to see what the power output is from those USB ports. We'll check all four USB ports. There's one USB-C up front, I'm pointing to the center console there, and there's one USB-A right next to it. In the back of the center console here, there's two USB-C. So I kinda wanna know what the difference is, or is the power split between all four of them? Is it split between two of them up front and two of them back here? or do they all have the same amount of power output? So this goes in between, there's a USB-C port there and then a USB-C port on this end. So I'm going to be plugging in first. Let's plug in the iPhone first and see, see what it does just right out of there. All right, I've got you over there in the passenger seat. We're gonna check this device plugged directly into the USB-C port. And then I have, I have a USB-C cable to lightning port to test what we're getting once we plug in the iPhone. So first, first I'm gonna plug this into the USB-C device and what it shows on the screen, it shows on the screen five volts. Now there's nothing coming through the device because, well, you know, because we're not, we don't have anything plugged into it at this point. And now I'm gonna plug this into my iPhone. So as soon as we plug it in, now it's charging. And now you can see on this device that we are getting, oops, I kind of moved it so it, it changed the charging. Now we're getting nine volts and what, 13, 13 watts. Now my phone is about 57% charged right now, so I wonder what it would bring in if it was fully dead, if it was, if there's a difference there. I don't know too much about the charging, but it's kind of interesting. Now what I want to do is take that out of the USB-C, and I have a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and we're going to put it into the other one and see if we get the same. See if the USB-C puts out more power. Now my phone goes straight to charging. And we do get more out of the USB-C port than we do the USB-A port. Was it, it's five volts the same, but only 6.5 watts. So coming through that device into the phone. That's directly through the phone. Unplug this device. So now what we wanna do is take the, the cord from the factory USB port a wireless charging cable and plug that in. And very interesting. Right away we get 9 volts. 9 volts coming out and it's fluctuating a little bit because I think there's a, a computer readout in the charging port uh, in the charger itself so it's taking a little bit of power to see. Now let's plug in, well not plug in, it's wireless. We're gonna set my phone onto the charger to allow it to start charging. And let's see what it takes. Now we're still at the nine volts, but we're getting, it's ramping up a little bit. With only one phone on the wireless charger, we're getting 9.7, 9.7 watts going into the phone from nine volts. Very interesting. That's on the driver's side. Let's see if the passenger side is any different. And we're gonna let that ramp up as well. 9.7, same as the other one. 9.79 fluctuates from 9.79 to 9.43. Before we see what's inside of this thing, the factory one, let's go test the back ones out and see if there's any difference back here. All right, so we've got the two USB-C ports back here. I have the USB-C adapter with, or not adapter, but the reader, along with a lightning cable. And we're gonna test first just what the phone does being plugged in. Looks like four, five volts. We're gonna plug this in and we're getting the reading five volts and it's gonna go up to nine, 10, 13. 
So these are fast chargers back here. 13, 12. You could probably plug in a laptop and kind of keep it going back here in the back uh, chargers. Uh, again, this is at 59% on my phone. Probably would be a little different with a, um, maybe a different phone. And let's try the other charging port just for the heck of it, but they should be the same. And it takes a little bit to ramp up. So tens, it's pretty much the same. Now my question is, what happens if we plug in the wireless charger back here? Let's go to this one. Since this one was the faster port, let's put the phone on the charger and see what it ramps up to. So we're still at the nine volts. So it's basically like before, we're hitting 10 back here actually. We didn't hit 10 up there, but we got really close to 10. Uh, I really like the, I like the way this charges with the new factory um, charger. I just don't like the way this grips where you have to grab the phone. It, I, this is too big right here and I wish that was a little different. Uh, and if you're wondering, those are sugar cubes on my screen protector or my, on my wallpaper to remind me to stop eating so much sugar and candy. It's not working. <laughs> now, let's rip this thing open and see what's inside because this is putting out some good power. We need to see why. On the back, there's some screws. Looks like there's three, six, nine screws and you need a Torx nine bit. Huh, imagine that. So I'm gonna rip this open and we're gonna see what's inside. And I know that's another YouTube channel, Dan, awesome channel. I got to meet Dan, by the way, at the Model Y event. He's a really cool guy, about the same height too. So we're just gonna remove all, remove all these. Leave in the comments if you think I'm crazy for doing this. All right. Ooh, that came out pretty easy. So this is the Tesla charger. Just so everyone sees, this is the Tesla charger. And we're gonna grab it by the cable. And of course, this is just plastic. And on the inside are some pretty big plates. And these are riveted on there. So I don't wanna take this off any farther which I don't think I can take it off any farther without damaging anything. And I want to use this because we've gotten some good charging speeds with this. So these are the two pads of the wireless charging, which is really cool. But I don't even know what the, oh, this does come off. Nice. Breaking stuff is what I like to do. Not sure if that was supposed to come off. But I did. <laughs> this is really cool. You get to see what's inside the circuit board of the two chargers. This, again, this is the two charging bays. And then this is the circuitry allowing the, to pull that much power and to split it up in between these two because we were getting a lot of power coming out of there. Really cool. Now the only part is, can I put this back together? Of course I can. That piece will just sit right over there and then this will fit on right on top and no one will know. No one will ever see this, will they? I saw your little video on the YouTube. On a closer look of this panel, if you look right here, let me see if it'll focus. It's Lux Share. Lux Share is the company who makes this. It's also on the chargers if you pick that up before. It's on each charger. They're really small, it's hard to see. So it doesn't look like, and, and all, the, uh, all the little caps are Lux. They say Lux on them too. So it looks like Tesla is not making this. They're having Lux make the chargers for the Tesla to fit in their cars. I was looking for any Easter eggs inside here. Let's see. Maybe you guys can. A lot of times Tesla will put Easter eggs inside. So if they design the circuit board, you would think there'd be something in there, but I didn't see it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love taking things apart. As you know, if you're, if you're a long time subscriber and if you're not, hit the subscribe button. I do this kind of stuff all the time. I take things apart and see how it's made. I'm not an engineer. I'm just an idiot on YouTube that likes to take things apart. And hopefully I have Hopefully I don't have any leftover pieces that when I'm done. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. It's really cool to see how the sauce is made, how things are made, and, you know, taking things apart. You know, this is our cars. I mean, this is my car. You just, that's your car. You can do this stuff. The hard part is putting it back together. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit, a like, hit the like button. 
and stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see you on the next one. By the way, I got it back on. Those are just clips right there, so it just clips right down into place. I didn't break anything. <laughs>